Before I begin, I don't want anyone coming at me and stating the obvious. Yes, genetics do play the biggest part in determining your height. People do tend to be a similar height to the rest of their family. However, it's not always the case. I've known people who are twice the size of their parents. You can never be 100% sure of your genetic limit, and sometimes it's your lifestyle that determines whether you reach it or not. Most of this advice is probably relevant to guys up until the age of about 18 or 19, because that's the point up until when you're still growing naturally. However, if you're over that age range, I do still have some handy tips that you might not have heard of for boosting your height so stick around you might still find some value in this video so let's not delay let's get straight into how you can grow to be taller now for the young men that i mentioned who are still under the age of 18 and going through the body's natural process of growing there are three pillars for getting taller and they're also the three pillars of staying healthy in general and those are sleep exercise and diet. Might sound obvious, but so many people get these fundamentals wrong. I'm six foot one, which is a good height. I can't complain, but it does hurt inside a little bit thinking about my true genetic potential. Obviously, I had good potential to grow tall, but I can't help but wonder how much taller I'd be now if I cared about those things from a young age. So the first thing, sleep. Most teenagers aren't getting nearly enough sleep. And when I look back on it, that's probably the thing that would have stunted my growth the most. Myself and my group of friends would stay up late on video games games and chatting on discord until about like one or two in the morning and then we would still have to wake up for school in the morning at seven so that would have given us around five six hours sleep maximum that's a big big mistake especially at those ages because a lot's going on whilst we're asleep that's when most of the hormones responsible for growth are getting released getting an optimal amount of sleep can also reduce your stress hormones which play a part in stunting your growth so stop all the late nights start a consistent early bedtime routine and get eight to nine hours of quality sleep sleep. The next one is exercise. Again, just common sense. Living an active lifestyle is great for your health and can stimulate the production of certain hormones. Burning body fat will also help your body produce less estrogen. Now, males don't want high levels of estrogen, particularly in our teenage years, because what it does is accelerate the fusing of the bones, meaning we'll stop growing sooner. So maintaining a lower, healthier body fat essentially means we'll keep growing for longer. There's a lot of different forms of exercise out there, so you might want to know the best ones to facilitate this type of growth and the answer would be any type of cardiovascular exercise so that could be running swimming martial arts lifting weights is also said to be pretty good but the advice is to avoid any exercises that will compress your spine and make you appear shorter so that means no squats no deadlifts and no overhead presses honestly i still did those exercises but i only started working out when i was 18 so i was probably coming to the end of my growth anyway so i'll leave that one up to you you could possibly just train isolation and body weight exercises in your younger teens and then move on to proper lifting when you get older. And finally, we're on to diet, which is arguably the most important pillar of the three. Get rid of all that ultra processed sugary junk food. It's no good for you. It's not nutritious enough. It's slowing down your growth. You need protein, preferably 100 grams or more a day. That might sound like a lot, but across the whole day, you can easily hit that. For me, animal protein sources are the best and most convenient because they contain all the essential amino acids that you need to grow. I'm talking about things like chicken, eggs, steak and fish. And you can mix that up with some plant protein sources, just avoid soy like the plague because it raises estrogen. Healthy carbs and fats are also equally important for growth. Most people are messing up here by consuming the wrong types of carbs and fats, like anything fried or ultra sugary is messing up your insulin and your blood sugar levels and as a result your hormones will be all over the place. Good carbs come from things like white rice, fruits and veggies and good fats are avocados, nuts and olive oil. So those are the three pillars of growing taller explained. If you're within that age range where you're still growing and you really focus on these three things, then I'm confident you'll maximize your genetic potential. But if you're past those age ranges and you're still not satisfied with your height, then fear not, I still have a few extra tips that could boost your height by one or two inches. One of the first videos I made on this channel was about improving your posture and the impact it can have on your appearance and your confidence. It was a very sloppy video, but the main point still stands, and that's that most guys are ruining their posture by sitting down all day looking at their phones to the point where they're actively reducing their height which is a problem. So if you have an arched hunchback type posture, this is how you can reset it and start standing confidently. So what you've got to understand about posture first is that most people have their shoulders rolled forward with their arms out slightly in front of them. So to correct your posture, you have to roll them back to the point where your arms are now parallel with your sides. It might take a few days to get into the habit of doing it, but that would definitely add like at least an inch to your height. I have one more tip for you guys. Think of it as a bonus tip 
but this one is a little bit more controversial. It's not widely talked about and whether it works is still a little bit up for debate, but many people claim to have grown a couple of inches from using this method, and I'm talking about microfractures. I've been aware of microfractures for a while, but I've never used it, so I can't say for sure if it works. They're essentially tiny fractures in your shin and ankle bone that are made from intense exercise or working your body hard. But the idea is upon resting these bones, they will repair and increase in length. The main exercise that reportedly causes microfractures is running, particularly with ankle weights on because it places more stress on the bone. If that's something that sounds interesting to you and that you'd like to try out, maybe go and do a little bit more research on it because it's not my area of expertise, but either way, I hope it helps. So if even after all this, you're not as tall as you'd like to be, at least you know it's out of your hands. You've implemented all these tips and you know for certain that this is as tall as you can get. I would find peace in that and keep relentlessly working on what I can control. Start lifting weights and build an amazing physique. Go outside and talk to some people, improve your social skills and your charisma. Work on a side hustle or business, something that will put a little extra money in your pocket. A below average height guy with money is twice as attractive as a tall brokey. Remember that. I'll see you in the next one.